Remember how ChatGPT was absolutely useless at making a heart shape? Well, Bing AI might be better at shapes, but it sucks at programming. Hey, it's Tommy Bianco, and last time I showed you how to use ChatGPT to make a simple Arduino project. Click this link if you need a refresher. And now, let's see how we can improve the result. When asked to make a heart animation, ChatGPT used two-dimensional arrays to store different images, frames of an animation. Then it created separate functions for displaying each image. Although it works, it is an extremely wasteful approach, which simply overloads microcontroller's memory. Instead, we can add an extra dimension to store all frames of an animation in one place and use a single function for the entire animation display. This does not only preserve some memory, but also makes adding new animations much simpler. Unfortunately, even with optimized code, an Arduino Uno can only handle about 2-3 animations at once. This can be easily solved by picking up a different microcontroller board. If we want to cycle between the animations, we also need an input device. This little module, called a rotary encoder, allows me to change animations with a press and brightness with a twist. Of course, I could just leave the project on the breadboard as it is now, but this way it is not portable nor practical. So I had to sit down and solder all the components together on a generic PCB. With hardware and software ready for action, it is finally time to design new animations. Easiest and quickest way to do that is to open an Excel sheet and start coloring in the cells. Just a few minutes in and we have a whole gallery of questionable animations ready to take with us. Since none of this is terribly useful sitting in my drawer, here are some shots from Paris. Now, is this the best we can do with this project? Of course not. Our microcontroller can connect to Wi-Fi, which means we can dive into something called Internet of Things. With a little under an hour of my free time and the framework by Blink, we can now do this. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you lasted this long, you can as well subscribe and give this video a like. Come on, it's my dopamine. See ya!